Hey church, uh, it's the last day of the year. Uh, we're about to head into a new year, and as you head into the new year, I hope you're thinking about specifically how you're going to grow this next year and how you can really uh, become a more godly, more holy person in the year ahead. And obviously, if you're going to become a more godly, more holy, more fruitful, more effective kind of person in the year ahead, you're going to be uh, need to be a person who spends a lot of time in God's Word. God's Word the Bible is what he uses to speak to us. It is uh, what he uses to transform us. Paul says in Timothy that the Bible is profitable to, to equip you for absolutely every good work. If you're going to become the person that God wants you to be, the kind of person that's a help to others, the kind of person that you really, if you're a Christian, long to be, you need to be a person this year who spends a lot of time studying God's word. But I just want to warn you that it's possible to spend a lot of time studying God's Word and actually know a lot of facts about God's Word and uh, and and listen to many good sermons on God's Word and not benefit really at all from God's Word. And I think that's actually, if you ever read the book of James, that was one of James's concerns as he spoke to the church. He was concerned that there were religious people who knew a lot of information about the Bible, but weren't really being transformed by the Bible. And so in James chapter 1, besides saying that's really pointless, he also gives a number of steps that we need to take if we're going to benefit from God's Word. And I thought I could just share those with you really quickly. If you're going to benefit from God's Word this year, you need to be a person who is quick to listen to God's Word. In other words, uh, you, you need to be a person who's eager to hear it to actually want to know what God has to say. A lot of times we don't really benefit from God's word because we're we're not really listening. We our minds are distracted. We are much more interested in uh, what we have to say. Uh, to be honest, a lot of times we're much more interested in entertainment. We would rather have somebody get up there and tell us a whole bunch of nonsense about various movies or various movie stars or or something silly like, like that then we would want to hear somebody speak from God's Word. And so, if you're going to benefit from God's Word this year, you need to pray, God, give me a hard attitude that really wants to hear you speak. And you're also going to have to preach to yourself. Self, this is God's Word. This is God speaking. And whether it's interesting to me or not right now, I need it. God knows what I need to hear. This this will benefit me. So first, you need to be quick to listen. Second, you need to be slow to speak. A lot of people don't actually benefit from God's Word because uh, they are not so much concerned about what God's Word has to say. Uh, they're more concerned about what they have to say. And they have all kinds of excuses, and they have all kinds of rationalizations, and they have all kinds of preconceived ideas about their life and how things should go that... Uh, that, that they don't really hear what God's saying to them. And so, uh, will you really pray that God, when I come to your word, when I hear it preached, when I, when I study it, Lord, please help me not to be so busy defending myself that I don't actually, um, that I don't actually hear you telling me where I need to change. Third, if you're going to benefit from God's word, you need to be quick to listen, you need to be slow to speak, and you need to be slow to become angry. You know what often happens when God's Word starts poking us in the areas where we actually need to change? We don't mind God talking about all these areas where we don't need to change, but when God actually comes and speaks to the areas that are real issues for us, uh, a lot of times what happens is we become angry, and we shut down, and we get upset, especially at the person speaking God's Word to us, or we get upset maybe even more directly at God Himself, God in his kindness is coming to point out areas that we need to grow. And yet, instead of listening and, and, and humbly receiving what God has to say, we think we know better than God, and we try to get the pressure off ourselves by attacking others. Fourth, if you're going to benefit from God's word, you need to be a person who's repentant. God comes. He speaks to you. You, you listen to what God has to say. You know he's... He's poking on that area. He's pointing out that area in your life where you need to change. If you're going to benefit from God's Word, you need to, to change. You need to turn from that sin. You need to bring those sins to God on a regular basis, daily basis. God, 
I humble myself before you. You know better than I do about my life. Please forgive me. Please enable me to change. What can happen if you're not repentant when you hear God's word is you start to develop a callus on your heart. You know, you have a callus on your finger. You can have a callus on your heart. And so your heart becomes hard after a while. Your conscience becomes hard. And what should be convicting to you, you don't even hear it. Everybody else is hearing it and they're seeing it in your life, but you can't see it because you're not repentant. And so you need to, the way to get a callus off your heart is by coming to God and just confessing your sin and, and seeking to be repentant on a regular basis. And then then if, if you're going to benefit from God's word, not only do you need to be repentant, you need to be uh, humble. Um, the person who really is changing is a person who actually knows he needs to change. And a lot of people come to a complete stall in their Christian life because they're not teachable. They're not coming to God's word humble. They're coming to God's word thinking, you know what, I, I pretty much know this already and I don't really have areas that need to change. I'm good. You're not good. You need to change. I need to change. We all need to change. We need to come to God's word humble if we're going to benefit from it. And then finally, if we're going to benefit from God's word this year, we need to be applying it. And that means when we study God's word, we don't just study to know a lot of facts. We study specifically to, to know how God wants us to live. And so when we come to a sermon, one thing we might do is we just look for one thing. Lord, teach me one thing that needs to, to change in my life, that I need to put into practice in my life. When we study God's word throughout the week, and I hope you're doing that, you're not going to benefit from God's word if you're not reading God's word. But as you read God's word, you're, you're looking, Lord, okay, you gave this word uh, to change me, and so how can I change? And then you get very specific. You say, okay, this, this is speaking about my pride, Lord. This is how I can seek to humble myself today. Oh, man, God's given us such a great resource in, in the Bible church. He's given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us the church. He's given us his word. We can be, you can be, by God's grace, beautiful people. You can become more holy this year if you're a Christian. You can. That's God's goal for you. For you to become more holy, you're going to need to benefit from God's word. To benefit from God's word, you need to be quick to listen. You need to be slow to speak. You need to be slow to become angry. You need to be repentant. You need to be humble. And you need to work at applying. Let's do this, church. Let's, let's grow in our relationship with God this year. Let's not just go through a, a year and kind of stay the same. Let's take one step, two step, three step, four step, five step closer to being like Jesus by reading the Bible and listening to the Bible the way Jesus wants us to. Love you, church.